Good morning, athletes. Happy Friday. You made it to the end of the week. We've got a good one, pretty short one for you today, so I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start with our warm-up five-minute EMOM of five sit-ups, 10 jumping air squats, and 30 mountain climbers. Make sure on those jumping air squats we're getting down to the bottom, and we're getting a good open hip at the top by doing a little bit of a jump off the ground. After that, we're going to get into our strength for today. This is a good single arm strength, just need one dumbbell for it. We're going to do 10 dumbbell snatches on one arm, and then we're going to do 10 dumbbell renegade rows on that same arm. The renegade rows is, again, a push-up, and then when you come to the top of the push-up in your plank position, you're going to do a row. So, a lot of push-up volume here that you're going to be required to do. If it seems like too many, it's a total of 60 push-ups if you do the math, go to your knees on the push-up to try to make that a little bit easier. I don't want you to get stuck having to rest in the two-minute cycle that you have. So go to your knees if you need to on the push-up, but on the plank row, I want to make sure that you come up to your toes, keep that nice hollow body position in that plank, and do your row on that side. You're going to rotate through that a total of six times. You've got two minutes to finish it. Should have about a minute of rest each time. After that, we're going to get right into our workout. We've got two seven-minute AMRAPs with a minute rest in between. We're just repeating the exact same thing, so it should be pretty simple to try to stick to. What we're going to be doing rep scheme-wise is two, four, six, eight, going up from there of dumbbell devil presses. We are alternating our arms, and we are doing 10, 20, 30, etc. mountain climbers. So the devil press, remember, we're going all the way to the ground into that burpee position. Should have the dumbbell to the side of our body. And then as we come up, we are going to swing that dumbbell, basically a dumbbell snatch above our heads. That'll be the finished position. Mountain climbers, you can do either way you want. You can do the crossbody style. You can do the, the more of the lungy style. Anything is fine today. The mountain climbers, the purpose is to get a good core workout while also staying, uh, keeping your heart rate elevated. So after we get through that 15 minutes of work on the workout, there is a five minute finisher here today where we are doing another EMOM for, for uh, five minutes, 10 dumbbell pull acrosses or slides, and then in the remaining amount of time, you're just gonna hold the plank. So the dumbbell pull across, if you've never done it before, you will hold the plank position. You're gonna have that dumbbell somewhere between around your midsection, and you're just going to twist through and pull it to your other side. Really try to move that as far across as you, as you can, because we want to get a good twist of our abdominals as we pull it across. So really focus on that, but you do need to maintain that nice core position. And then, of course, once you finish that 10, just hold that max plank until you basically get to the 50 second or one minute mark, and then reset. All right, we hope you have a great one and you have a great weekend and we will see you next week.